the Rowdies are continuing Independence Day celebration tonight with a match against FC Cincinnati, and they have a special event afterwards for the fans. Lucky for us here to tell us more about it is midfielder Leo Fernandez. Leo's donning some equipment, I think, that we need to touch on first. Injury a few games ago. What's the scoop? Are you going to get back this season? Yes, for sure. Um, I'm hoping September, you know, middle of September, but definitely this season. And already you're in the second half of the season for the team, and I know you guys are really trying to get back in that win column. What are you able to notice, unfortunately, now that you're on the sidelines a little bit? What's it going to take and maybe get back in the win column with Cincinnati here? Um, I don't know. This, we just have to keep doing, um, playing what we, how we've been playing in the beginning of the year, scoring goals. Uh, it's nice to be home, obviously. We had uh, three, three away games in a row, which we didn't play too bad, but we just we weren't lucky. But I think it's, it's great that, that we're home again. I say, let's talk about the home field advantage that you can get here in Tampa Bay. Rowdy fans are crazy. They yes, are yeah. dedicated. Talk about what kind of home advantage that the Rowdy fans do bring. Uh, it's, it's terrific. From my first game here, um, in, I think it was like three months ago, just this, this tremendous support on and off the field. You, you'll walk around in uh, St. Pete and Tampa, Tampa Bay. It's always great. You see um, you know, flags and jerseys everywhere. It's amazing. And along the same lines, obviously there's a petition right now to get the Tampa Bay Rowdy as part of the MLS. Do you feel that on the field? Do you feel that excitement on the field? For sure. Every time you know we're in training or in the games, we always feel uh, the, the fan support, the MLS to St. Pete, MLS to Tampa Bay. It's, it's, it's been great. And kind of as a thank you, if you will, to the fans, you guys have a huge concert tonight. Who's playing? What are the details? Yeah, it's cool in the gang. You know, they have a bunch of hits, you know, celebration, ladies night. I'm very excited. I've never been to a, a concert there, so it's going to be a great night. I'm curious, do you get to enjoy it? I've always wondered when you have those post-game concerts as an athlete, does it matter if you win or lose, or, or does everyone go out on the field and enjoy it afterwards? Um, I think it does a little bit, uh -huh. but as soon as you start, you know, you start enjoying the moment, you kind of, you know, forget about the game. Oh, say forget yeah. about the game, enjoy it's, cool in the yeah, game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you got to enjoy cool in the game. <laughs> and one of the things before the game, though, that you will get to enjoy and appreciate, we've got some folks jumping out of helicopters. I know. That's that's going to be pretty crazy. Uh, I've never seen that either, so <laughs> I'm very excited to see that. So I'll, I'll, be, I'll be at the game very early just to see that. And I think people, in case you've never been to a game there in St. Pete, the Tampa Bay Rowdies, you do have a family-friendly feel to it. Yeah, we're talking about the crazy fans, and of course you have those groups, but there is a family feel to, to the games. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, when, when I'm walking on to the field, I've, I, we walk around with, with, with kids, and there's so many kids around, and you can see they just, they just look up to you at any moment, and it's great. You see kids on the sidelines, and it's just a very family-oriented family, family uh, stadium. You know, and I'm always curious, what is that like for the athletes when you do get to have that interaction with the kids? Because so many athletes, mm -hmm. you're up in the stands and you don't get to interact with the little fans. And that's what makes you guys so unique. Yeah, you know, it's great. Because I remember when I was growing up and just when I had a moment with a professional athlete, I remember for, for the rest of my life. So mm -hmm. just to talk to the little kids, say hi, and, and just meet them, it's, it's great for them. And once again, family-friendly event. I think there's going to be some face painting, mm -hmm. and so definitely a fun event for Thursday. The 4th of July celebration continues once again. That is cool in the gang. It is a free concert, and there's those para commanders as well. For more information on how you can get tickets, Ticketmaster.com slash Rowdies. Leo, get you back healthy. And again, we're going to see you this season, though, right? For sure. Okay, yeah. we'll see you at the and end of the season. And playoffs and yeah, all that. Well, hopefully you're cheering the team on. We're cheering yeah. the team on once again. Tampa Bay Rowdies. Leo, we appreciate your time. Thank you for having me.